Hi. How are you? Oh, still working. Uh, still working. Oh, sorry, but thank you for being here. Thank you for being connected. Um, so you will be listening only, right? Yeah, the few minutes uh, I will put you in text, but when I am available, okay? Okay, okay. No problem, you, no teacher. problem. My pleasure. Uh, so basically, I know maybe is um, I know you're sick. Maybe I hope you feel better as well. And hello, Tanya. How are you? Do you hear me? I don't hear you. All right. The thing is that if you don't answer, basically we will be in the class just and Brandy. <laughs> I know. Hi. 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 Good evening. Tanya, do you hear me? I'm talking yeah. to you. Okay. Okay. Hey, how do you feel? Maybe are you able to speak? Let yeah, up. I can speak, but I can't. Oh, yeah. No. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's why last time I, I was kind of, you know, surprised when you, um, when you said, uh, when you were pronouncing some words. I know the final sounds are difficult with brackets, and I'm so sorry that we didn't know, right? And uh, I was still waiting for the, for the homework. But anyways, you already know um, how to pronounce. You know, uh, you know perfectly. However. I know that in your case, you are getting adapted to to the brackets, right? So um, um, you will pronounce it, you will pronounce much better, of course, uh, when you get used to, right? I know, even though actually, sometimes even though you're getting used to, but sometimes that brackets are, have always this time, uh, type, kind of issue, right? That it's, uh, you cannot move your, your, uh, your, your tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, it's hard, it's a stitch inside okay. of the mouth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so bad. All right. So, but thank you for being here um, today. Since there are few people here, uh, we will finish basically just the, um, the section five. And we're going to do some reviews about certain topics that you probably uh, don't remember very well. I sometimes hear, uh, for example, when do we, when we're doing comparisons, sometimes we say more bad, uh, more good. That that doesn't exist, of course. But some some people might say uh, more instead of saying uh, faster, right? More fast. That doesn't exist. Remember. So we're going to do just a quick review about all the topics, and of course. Um, if you have any question, let me know so we can talk about that specific topic, okay? Um, so it's nice to see you. Vanessa, can you help me with the camera if you're able to or let me know what's going on, okay? Um, so last time we were doing the ED endings. All right, so most of you already practiced that pronunciation. You already know how to pronounce the ED endings. So uh, I expect everybody to read perfect, all right? Uh, at least with the, uh, with the regular verbs. So we finished this. Um, and now we are doing, we will check just this video that it's talking about expectation and uh please watch the video and then uh um we'll we'll practice some examples okay hey how are you vanessa how do you feel no sé que le toque. <laughs> speak english remember speak english i don't know i don't know the the video you haven't watched the video yet. So, um, really? okay, so we're going to play the video just for a moment and then 
uh, we continue with the class, all right? Uh, do you have any, if you have any, any doubts or any topic you want to reinforce, let me know. We have time, we have plenty of time today, okay? I know this is going to be the last session of this class. So thank you for your participation, for your effort that to, of being here in the class. And well, let me know if you have any topic that you would like to reinforce. Now let's watch the video and then we discuss it, okay? And Take just notes. like the image that you see at this time, press expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to um, and so let's look at the examples at this time when you visit someone it's the custom to bring a small gift of course this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. So let's try to understand this particular idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following, that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an, a when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone, that's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the the expectation is when you visit someone, and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form; it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone, you aren't uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. Okay, you aren't supposed to arrive early, and then finally it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say, if the service in a restaurant is good okay that's the if clause okay then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject okay you're um, supposed to okay and then that's going to follow the verb so you're supposed to leave a tip and then there's going to be some sort of compliment Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the, it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? 
um, after that follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever, right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is, when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's, uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Okay, guys. So, for example, um, what happened in some countries that probably you know some of their culture? Maybe, for example, what are you supposed to do in Brazil if you meet a person for the first time? You went to Brazil, so you, you can tell me. What are you, are you supposed to do what if you know a person for yeah. the first time? For the first time? It's supposed that the people. It is supposed. Mm -hmm. It is supposed that people uh, give a kiss on a cheek, on one side and the other side. Okay. And they are very noisy. When they. Oh meet... really? Yeah, that I meet someone like a. Oh, nice to meet you! Like a very noisy. But, really? But, yeah. So they they speak really loud. Really loud, exactly. Okay. They like parties, right? That's why the Rio de Janeiro Fest yeah, of I Carnival. Do. Yeah. I so they people. they are always uh speaking in love in a loud way. All right. So and nice. they are they are protesting uh, for the government for something that they uh, protesting against the government, right? Against, against the government. The government they, they make a sound with the uh, with the kitchen things. Ah, the kitchen from, utensils. From their right. windows. From their windows. Okay. Right. Uh, I saw some of those activities also in um, when there was a strike in Venezuela against mm, Chavez, I remember. They, it's it's a com it, probably a, a tradition. Here in El Salvador, I don't know if people do it. I haven't seen people uh, protesting that way. All right, but okay, nice. Um, Brandy, have you have you traveled somewhere else? Uh, last time, uh, I I didn't ask you where where have you traveled besides El Salvador? Is there any other country you have visited that you want to share the culture? 
Mm, I went to Honduras and I went to Guatemala, only those places. Okay. Nice. So, uh, my, uh, what are you, uh, what are you, imagine this is, what are you supposed, but you can also say, what I, are you supposed to do uh, if you go to Guatemala, for example? Any, any suggestion or any, um, any, uh, you know, recommendation, actually? Or what do what can we expect if we go to Guatemala? Well, it depends because if you go to like at the capital like is like here. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you have to pay attention on the street because somebody can took your <laughs> your wallet and you know they can install. But if you go, for example, I went to um Rio Dulce. Uh -huh. Yeah, and and those places is really good because it's um uh, a place where many um how how can I say Guatemalteco? Guatemalan. Guatemala. Many Guatemalans in plural, yeah. Many yeah, Guatemalans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the people there are so kind and there are in uh, those places um they speak like uh, three or four languages. Languages. languages yeah languages yeah mm -hmm. so that's okay. really uh helpful because uh, if for example if somebody came uh, from the united states or uh canada or uh the native people there you know <laughs> they they i don't know it's the way that they speak are different they speak uh, they speak okay yeah nice they speak and a speech because it's the way that they speak ah, so, ah, like, so you uh, say their speech, their, yeah. su lenguaje, su, su, su discurso, su, su habla, all right? Their, their speaking. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Um, one suggestion, great, Brandy, cuando usted me dice, cuando alguien viene o cuando alguien vino de Estados Unidos, you say when somebody came, mm -hmm. cuando alguien vino. Pero si dice, si, si lo quisiera decir, if I want to say it, cuando alguien viene, when somebody comes. Ahí ocupo un simple ah, present. Comes. Mm -hmm. When somebody okay. comes from the United States, all right, okay. they're supposed to, okay, good. It comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, comes. Um, something, something else that I, I want you to know, probably you already know, but uh, if you know a, a Japanese person, what do you know uh, something about their tradition? Oh yeah, you don't have to touch the hands. Ah, just, imagine so they just like you just bend bow down. right or bend. Yeah, you just bend uh, with them. You don't touch them, not even kiss them, right? Even yeah, I just... love this part about the Japanese people. Really? Because yes, uh, it's really disgusting if uh, if somebody tries to kiss you. Twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tries to kiss you. Uh, well, of course, if Brad Pitt or some of these, you know, I, I, uh, hug, you want to hug them. You want to yeah. hug them. <laughs> yeah. If it is a, a handsome man, of course, I, oh, touch me, whatever that you want. To touch, you know? <laughs> whatever you want, whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, whenever, but, well, whatever, sorry, whatever. Yeah. Don't say yeah, that. <laughs> but, yeah. But as some kind of person that like, uh, they want to hug you and you say, uh, no, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. All right, so, so if with yeah. Japanese people, you're not supposed to kiss them, not even uh, no. to shake hands as well, right? All no, right, no, no. nice. I also know, uh, what What else do you know, uh, Marina? Do you know something about Japanese people or Chinese people, any other culture that you're supposed to do or you're not supposed to do something? What is the expectation about certain traditions? What you can tell me? Um... I don't supposed to. Uh, I am not supposed to. I am not supposed to. Um, I don't know if I don't know the uh, nation nationality. Uh huh. Mm, maybe uh, I don't know how to say no asumir la nacionalidad. Oh, do not assume where they are from, right? 
Okay, or what oh, you oh, you don't have to guess or yeah, you don't have to assume what the, uh, where they come from or what their nationality is because sometimes uh imagine Jap in my in my case I confuse Japanese with Koreans. Korean. Uh, so Chinese. Chinese probably are a, like a little bit more mm, maybe the, uh, I, they are a little a little different but between Japanese and and Koreans for me it's very difficult to to uh to tell the difference right tell the difference tell you know right it's to notice right to check or to identify what the, the difference is so tell the um, you can tell eso como lo puedes notar you can tell right so tell the difference puedes notar you can tell the difference you cannot tell the difference all right uh, or any, uh, for example, some. Uh, it, sometimes it happens to me when I was um, working as a waiter, as a waitress, long time ago. Of course, I remember that uh, sometimes the I always wanted to practice English, so I always when I whenever I saw a, a like a foreigner person, I was always. Uh, greeting them like hello how are you and they say i don't speak spanish <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I don't i don't speak english All right, but they actually know english because many of them know english you know english is like the international uh, communication um language but some of them tell me i don't speak i don't speak english i'm not english i'm not from the united states i'm not i know british so they they are they feel like um offended sometimes when they when you when you assume that they are americans right yeah. or they're from the united states or from from any most of the time we always say gringo right we always say gringo but of course gringo we call gringo for to everybody who's not uh, from El Salvador, or who looks like like uh, like an American, yeah. right? Who looks like uh, who's blonde with blue blue eyes or something like that. We always is um, do that, and of course, uh, Marina, you said it, we're not supposed to assume, right? Because they might feel offended. All right. Uh, do you know something else about Japanese? I actually um, learned my English because I taught Spanish to a to a lady who is Japanese. Okay, it's, she's half Japanese and half American. So when she arrived to Suchitoto, uh, she, um, she didn't know Spanish. So I learned English because of her as well. I was learning at the same time I was teaching. So it was a very nice experience. And remember here when we drink, when we are drinking soup, what happens? Something is like not well edu. It's not yeah, like a good with, manner. Uh, yeah, with without nose to make nose to make different. the noise when you're drinking, right? Even, even though when, when you're, you're eating, eating, yeah, you, you don't have to do eat. that, right? You're not supposed and, to eat that way as well, right? You can talk with them with them uh, when you are when you're when eating. You're, yeah, what you should. You're supposed. Okay. So in that case, as you see the expectation, we can say you're supposed to. So we are going to to say be supposed. What was the other expression? Be supposed to or? Expected. Expected, right? Expected to. In this case, remember, we are using the verb to be. So as Marina said, you, know, you don't supposed to. I, it's actually you are not supposed to in this case we use the verb to be so okay. uh yeah so you're 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 not expected right you are not expected to make noise when you're eating or to talk at the same time what else what is a good manner or it, something that you're not supposed to do when eating uh for japanese or for us for uh, uh, here in el salvador for example oh. I'm trying to make a difference. You're right? not supposed to touch your phone. Oh, really? <laughs> do you do uh, it? Of course, I do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're eating, and at the same time, we're 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 checking Facebook, right? Sometimes it happens. Yeah. No, okay. but if you are with your boss or you're talking, you know, in a meeting, no. uh, you you yeah. 
So if you're in a meeting, you're supposed to pay attention, right? You're supposed to do, um, to focus on what you're talking, to be respectful with that person. Cause yeah. yeah, it's it's not good if you're talking on the phone or or ignoring them. Like, oh, what do you say? Like it happens sometimes here in the class, right? Sorry, teacher, can you repeat? Sandra, you supposed you aren't you are not supposed to do is a drink with your boss here in El Salvador. But if you are if you are in Japan, if your boss tell you, hey, go tells for some, you tells you. Uh, you're supposed to accept it. Yeah. All right. You're supposed to follow instructions, right? Yeah. Even if it's for uh, be drunk. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, something else. If you have an interview, what happens? What are you supposed to do if you have a meeting, for example, or a, an interview, a job interview? An interview. Yeah. An interview. An interview. Remember, a and and is used whenever we have a vowel next, we say and now, right? What are you supposed to do or what are you expected to do if you have an Ooh. interview? Ooh. For anybody. Okay. What are you supposed to do? I am. First of all, I... you have to wear a suit. Suit. Uh, like a suit for my clothes. Yep. Uh, you have to pay attention on your makeup because you're not going to go on a party, so it has to be more natural. Okay. And then, uh... Thank you. Uh, Marina, you were saying something. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm supposed to, if you have a interview, you need to um, arrive early. Exactly, be on time. You're supposed to be or you're expected to be on time, yes. You you're supposed to dress uh, appropriate, right, to the occasion. As Randy says, not excessive makeup as well. What else? What else can you tell me if you're if you're going to an interview? You're Last looking, time, you're supposed uh, you're not supposed to be nervous, but you and. Uh, supposedly yeah supposedly because it's uh it's, it's natural to feel to feel yeah. to feel nervous Sullivan do you have something to tell me yes when you go to the interview you're supposed to be uh, be ready for all questions uh, about they going to make you also okay. uh, learn or read about the uh, company the company, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. The company, because you have to be prepared where I going to uh, front of the the people or where you are in the interview. Yeah, that's another good point for you, um, little girls who uh, probably you're not you're not uh, you haven't worked for a long time. Do you work, Marina and Tania? You're the youngest here in 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 the in the group. In this moment, mm -hmm. I'm not working. You're not, I am not working or I, I don't not. work. I am not I working or I don't work. Okay, no, not yet. But mm -hmm. soon you will see, as Sullivan says, it's very important. So you're supposed to know something about the company that you're, um, that you're um, looking for a job, where you're looking for a job. Tania, are you working currently? No, I'm not working. All right. I so... Do. You're supposed, yeah, you're supposed to read about the, the company. It's a, it's a very, very good um, idea to do it. And of course, be on time, right? If dress properly. What else, maybe anything else that we can miss? We, like we can advise the ladies or yeah. Vanessa, if you if you for, can say, example, tell me something. Mm -hmm. for, for the yes? example, if the company called uh, to, to to ask you for- uh, calls, you, calls you calls and you. ask you? And ask you, uh, uh, if if they don't give uh, the address, it's supposed that we have to take the initiative to look for the address, and don't 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 ask them. And eh, where is the company, please? Oh, okay. So you're oh. supposed to know where it is located, right? Okay. Good. Good it's point. That we have to find out. 
where oh. the company is located. Okay, so something else that you, yeah, it's, so it's not a good idea. So you're not supposed to ask, okay, so where is it located, right? Because you're, you already know which company you're applying to. And okay, it's good to know the, uh, where they are. Now Google says everything, it's easy, it's super easy uh, to. Not all the time. If it's not a well-known company, no. Mm -hmm. But if if it's a big company, a corporation, of course, you will yeah. see it. For example, Coca-Cola, you expect it that they are in the one place, but they they, they have a big eyes. Yeah, uh, you can. Yes. You can Sometimes. Uh, yeah, you're right. Some, and as you say, it depends on the branch because uh, sometimes the the headquarters is, is in one place, and sometimes the interviews are in different locations. So, yeah. okay, <laughs> it, it's sometimes a, it's complicated. Okay, if it's if it's um, I'm not sure. Sometimes if if somebody recommends you, probably you know already where it is, right? But yeah, sometimes I have asked several times when okay, so how can I get there? Because sometimes, <laughs> especially from Suchitoto to San Salvador, you know, sometimes you get lost. So really. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get lost here and I live here. Uh, and the ways when the ways sends you, sometimes they 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 sent you uh uh, the application yeah. sends you to a different location or yeah. some, yeah, some other places. Uh, okay, what I just wanted to uh, to finish with my idea. I don't know if Vanessa, you want to say something, Tania. Que no digan que solo nosotros hablamos. So I am I am expecting everybody to participate, right? I'm expecting, uh, or you're supposed to practice to participate in the class. So is here is the time. Remember, you can raise your hand para que no digan, ah, que solo, solo Brandy, porque si con Brandy siempre, siempre le gusta hablar, ¿verdad? Así que levanten la mano también ustedes. Okay, coach. Um, I work at Warehouse. Um, and I didn't know the place. No, really? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Interesting about it. It's what I would say when he gave me the first opportunity. Um, yeah, but I, I would say it's supposed to. Uh, it's good place to work. Yeah. Okay. okay. So whenever we're talking about expectation, remember, we can use it in past, in present, or in, or in future, or uh, for example, here expectation i am supposed to she is supposed to they are supposed to the verb to be has to be used here and if we're talking in past for example oh imagine yesterday i flew um i took a, a plane for example that it was supposed right it was supposed to to depart at 9 p.m but it departed in past Later, one hour later. So you can also use the past, right? You're, it was supposed to, I was supposed to, they were supposed to. The, remember, where and was, depending on what you're talking. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing that I wanted to mention is the difference between the, the cultures, for example, about Japanese. They have a lot of cultures. For example, something else, if you, uh, if you have heard that if you go to a restaurant, Right? What are you supposed to do in Japan? Or for Don't Japanese in general? Exactly. Okay, because so you're not. Like you are insult them. Mm, like you're insulting them. Like they are poor. So, how do you use this expression? So, you are. You're not supposed to give. You are them not supposed to give them a tip. a tip because they feel offended. Now, uh, talking about food, okay, I mentioned last time, you're not supposed to make noise here in El Salvador, right? But with this lady that I mentioned uh, earlier, I was trying to make, you know, like to, to eat like the, like the, in the best manner, but I, I, I saw uh, her husband and, and, and her 
they they were actually drinking soup, but they made noise like that. Yeah, Do you know why? Noise. It's normal for them. So in that case, if you don't do it, if you go to a restaurant or if you are in a with a Japanese person and this person cooks, you're supposed to make noise to to let them know that you enjoy the food, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Something that is kind of contradictory here in El Salvador, right? All right. Um good. So remember to use the verb the bear uh, to be the verb to be always, right? I am supposed, you are supposed, they were supposed. Eh, yo po, eh, in past cómo sería entonces? I was supposed. I was supposed. In past now, aha, very good. I was supposed. You were supposed. Eh, you were, they were supposed. Eh, exactly, but if we do it in, in future, what would be what would be the structure? They I will. very good. I will. I will suppose. I will be supposed. Aquí no le cambio el verbo, ¿verdad? Siempre cuando hablamos de futuro, usamos will y el verbo normal. ¿Ok? I will be supposed to uh, wake up early tomorrow. All right. I will be para mañana. ¿Ok? Oh, I am supposed to. Acuérdense que el I am supposed también se puede dar en el presente. Lo podemos hablar con sentido de futuro. Por ejemplo... Cuando el bus se vaya o cuando me vengan a traer, y es mañana, right? When they pick me up, si lo podemos decir en presente. Ok. Oh, when they pick me up, si decimos así, when they pick me up, cuando me, me vengan a traer, I will, uh, I will be waiting for them. Voy a estar esperándolos. All right. So, ocupamos when con el I'm simple presente. I'm supposed to be ready. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to be ready in the bus stop, right? All right. <laughs> Or in front of my house. Nice. You see, uh, basically that is the topic that uh, we just were uh, we were missing only, and that the knowledge check was already done. So um, last time we were talking about the the uh, the verbs. Remember the pronunciation for the verbs. Cuando es la única forma que pronunciamos, Vanessa, el pasado en los verbos. O sea, el el ed, por ejemplo, en verbos regulares. You're supposed to know already, right? You're supposed to know the, the rules. Y también del, todo depende si es voiced or voiceless, que ya lo vimos también, ¿verdad? Estuvimos hablando de eso dos días. Do you remember, Vanessa? Yeah. Okay. I, I, we, we, we talk about... The, the verb in past, past participle. The verb in past and past participle. So what, what, when are you supposed to read the ED only? Remind me. Acordémonos. Repeat question. When are you supposed to read or to pronounce the ED on regular verbs? I, I... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I was. I was? No, I am sería yo. It's just, I just, am, just I soy como. I am supposed to. Hmm? I am supposed to read. To read, the, uh, to pronounce the ED. Tania, ¿para cuándo entonces? Vamos a ver si nos pusieron atención. When are you supposed to read the ED ending? ¿Cuándo sí se pronuncia? Yo sé. Ed. 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 When. When the verb is regular. Yeah. Sí, pero todos son regulares aquí. Son tres pronunciaciones las que vimos. The, the, the pronunciation cambia with, with the verb. The verb is, is uh, finish in ed. Uh, uh -huh. the, or, or, or t. Or Ajá. 
Muy bien, excelente, Vanessa. Todos los que terminan, no necesariamente con la T, ¿verdad? Sino que, por ejemplo, el, este verbo de compete, de completar o, compete, o competir, compete, termina con E, pero obviamente el sonido es al final una T. Entonces, ahí sí pronunciamos la ED. Muy bien, Vanessa. Ok, eh, de lo contrario, ¿verdad? Sí tenemos los voiceless y los voiced sounds. En ese caso, yo determino si es un voiced. Siento una pequeña vibración que sí es sonora, ¿verdad? La palabra es sonora. Y en ese caso sí pronuncia una D al final. D, la que a maybe le cuesta un poco, ¿verdad? Porque todavía está... Adaptándose, ¿ok? D, 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 d. Sí puede, pero ahorita tiene... Una, pro, una pequeña vibración, ¿verdad? Todos ahí... D, tienen que sentir que hasta le vibra los labios, ¿eh? que hasta pica. D, sí, como sure. cuando está vibrando el celular. Ajá, Bernie. Ajá, uh -huh, question. Bueno, lo voy a hacer en español. Tenemos una clase pendiente. ¿Esa queda suspendida o siempre la vamos a recibir? ¿Cuál corazón? Ya, ya estuvo. Ah, bueno, está la 16ava. Esta es la última. Como ayer no la tuvimos y teníamos una pendiente porque teníamos dos clases que no dio. Pero el viernes pasado la dimos. Dimos una. Oh, faltaba bueno. una. No, ya son las 16. Oh. Ahora supuestamente terminábamos si hubiéramos terminado. Ahí he hecho ayer. Pero como ayer no hicimos. Ayer hubiéramos terminado. Ayer hubiéramos terminado. Vaya, vaya. Comenzamos. Ya. Vamos a ver. No, si usted dice que ya terminamos, está bien. Ya Yo terminamos. Solamente... Ah, está bien. Si no, no me van a pagar, no crea. <ríe> bueno, ya. entonces revise usted, porque yo tengo entendido que nos falta una. No. Porque okay. dos días. Sullivan, espéreme, vamos a ver, espéreme, espéreme, ya le voy a explicar, Brendy. No, no, esta es la última. Yes, yes, Sullivan. Okay. Yeah, that, that was the last one, because I put it in the check, because I have a control in my works. Because exactly. it's part of the it, my development, so okay. there is that the last one. So this is the, is the last, last one. one. Vaya, mire, comenzamos el tres. El un ese día se me cortó porque no me sirvió la el internet, verdad? No me sirvió. No tuve esa clase. De ahí, martes, miércoles y jueves fueron tres días. El viernes no se no se tuvo clases. Pero del diez al catorce todos esos días. Mm. Eh, el del 10 al 13 hice cuatro clases pero el 14 supuestamente allí íbamos a reponer la del 3 pero tampoco me sirvió el internet perfecto, ¿verdad? chulo el internet vaya, ahora después el 17 sí de la semana pasada sí tuvimos de lunes a viernes ahí es que fue la del 21 viernes 21 fue la que cubrimos del 3 y ahora pues fue lunes, martes, miércoles, ayer no pude y ahora la estamos cumpliendo. Ah, ¿sí? no, Ahí estamos completos. Completo, completo. <ríe> Yo creo que la quiero seguir viendo. Tan linda. Tengo bueno. una foto. <ríe> no. En persona. All right. Son, son. Ok, we can. Uh, at this time, I'm not in Suchitoto. Um, uh, I'm not. Yeah, in... I can see the curtain are different. Yeah, today I'm not in Suchitoto. I will be there in a few months. But of course, by the end of the of the year, by November, yes, we can. You can go to Suchitoto, and uh, I can I can give you a tour. All right, I can okay. be your tour, your personal tourist guide. You know already my telephone number, so yeah. Whenever you want, si quieren ahí se ponen de acuerdo para que lleguen con Brandy o con Sullivan el, el día que tal vez, tal vez puedan y vamos. Of course, it would be nice okay. to see you. It would be nice to see you. All right. Sure. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, guys, I know we already talked about pronunciation. Something else. Um, I had here uh, just a, like a small... Um, a little exercise about the simple present porque siento que este sí se, se nos olvida un poquito de lo de la tercera persona. Pero ustedes me dicen, también tengo eh, otro tema que quería tocar antes de terminar. Um, when you are uh, when you are uh, talking about the comparisons, okay? Porque eh, a veces decimos more better 
no, ya. eso no está correcto. Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de eso. Remember, así súper rapidito, ok, vamos a hacer comparatives and also superlatives. What's the difference between comparatives and superlatives? Si tienen otro tema, me, porfa, díganme si hay alguna otra duda de algo que no, que digan como que esto me cuesta, ¿verdad? Ok, the comparisons is uh, when you are comparing two things o dos cosas con, o, con una o dos cosas, no, dos cosas con dos, con otra, una con otra, ok. Una, una cosa con otra o este grupo con este grupo, estas personas con estas personas, ¿ok? Pero estamos haciendo una comparación de, porque estamos como en el mismo, en el mismo nivel, pero obviamente la diferencia es que uno puede ser de mayor o mejor calidad o de menor calidad, ¿verdad? Puede ser, por ejemplo, much, eh, mejor que, eh, más grande que. Y de todo, cuando decimos eso, tenemos tres reglas. En este caso, siempre que es un monosílabo, un verbo monosílabo, ¿a qué se refiere monosílabo? Monosílabo. O solo una sílaba. Entonces, por ejemplo, tenemos smart. Veamos cuáles otros. Smart, big. Stop, big. Eh, remember, lo que, compara, lo que comparamos también son verbos, son adjetivos, ¿ok? Los adjetivos son los que describen, ¿verdad? El verbo es la acción, aquí serían los oh, adjetivos. Fan. Fan. Fan, with F. Fan. Ok. Chip. Fan. Chip. Espérenme, fan. Fan. Funner. Ok. Chip. Bueno, cheap. Ok, sí. de solo uno, de solo uno, just one. Sí. Tenemos small, big, tall, ya, high. Bad. Bad, pero es, ese ya, esos son irregulares, eso ya entra en otra categoría. Ok, los irregulares, así a grandes rasgos, tenemos el good, tenemos el bad, tenemos el far. ¿Cuál otro se recuerdan que es como bien diferente, que sí cambia? No se recuerda. Oh, good, bad, far. Big, big in the regular, big. Yeah, here, here. Ya lo tengo. Vaya, tenemos estos, y, mm, no me recuerdo de todos en este momento, I don't remember them, son, son, no son muchos que son irregulares, porque eso sí, the comparison is completely different, all right? For, but if you're talking about um, one-syllable verbs, um, for example, tall, etc., just one syllable, then I, what you, you do, uh -huh, what you do is that you actually add a ER, Just does that, right? And mm -hmm. you say then, okay? So, uh, Brandy is taller than the teacher, right? Se le nota que bien alta, all right? Um, for example, um, el pelo de Mai maybe es más, más colochito. Ese ya es de dos sílabas, pero de solo una siempre se mantiene así, ¿verdad? ER, bigger, no digo more big. Smarter, all right? Uh, taller, funner, cheaper, más barato. Ok, so for example, El Salvador is cheaper than uh, the United States. Or, uh, but, uh, um, uh, but it is cheaper than uh, Costa Rica. All right. But, El, but Nicaragua is cheaper than El Salvador. Right. Now, de todos estos, de todos estos ya vamos a hacer un superlativo. Ok. De todos los, los, los países, of all the Central American countries, ahí tenemos el más caro y el más barato. Vamos ahorita solo con la primera sílaba. Ok, si estoy hablando de superlativo. The most. Exactly, todavía no, no, no vamos con el de most ahí. Porque el superlativo, eh, este, ahí se compara una cosa con el resto de todas, ¿ok? 
no hay nada mejor que una cosa. Usted dice el mejor, lo mejor, el más grande, el más alto. Ah, y este es... es el superlativo. Ok, ahí estoy comparando el resto con una nada más, con una cosa. En cambio, el comparativo estoy comparando una cosa con otra o una The persona con otra. Allí sí. Entonces, si es superlativo, ya no digo ER, sino que le agrego ES. ES. Y obviamente digo the, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, the biggest. Le pongo el, sub, el, el adjetivo y digo la EST. The biggest. Porque dice, the cheaper, dice no. Es cheaper than o the cheapest. Lo más barato. So the cheapest country in Central America is Nicaragua. Mm, but the most expensive, ya vamos entonces con los otros, con los otros eh, adjetivos. Por ejemplo. Veamos, estos son los irregulares, ya les dije, hay más, yo sé que hay más, pero ahorita eh, así a grandes rasgos. Um, si, eh, para esto sí todos cambian. Entonces es good, ¿cuál sería entonces? Be, better than, ok. Ah, eh, ¿qué? Eh, San Salvador es mejor que Santa Ana. Es un ejemplo. Yo, todo depende... Uh, it depends on your opinion, it depends on your expectation, todo, de, para mí puede ser mejor esto que lo otro, ¿verdad? Para otros no, ¿ok? Pero eso es, eh, como le digo, eso es sub subjetivo, that's sub subjunctive, because it depends on your criteria, right? On your opinion, all right? It's not, todo lo que usted dice no es, lo, no es así para las demás personas. Todas las personas tienen opinión diferente, all right? Y, y de ahí dice the best, right? The best. Ahora, si hablo del bad, entonces digo worse. 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 worse, pero ese digo worse, ¿qué le falta? Dan siempre, ¿verdad? It is worse than, ok, no, pero es que antes El Salvador estaba peor. Eh, bueno, o ahora está peor, no sé. ¿verdad? In security, it is, it is it's better, but it is worse. In the high prices, right? Como, como esto está subiendo también todo. Okay, worse than. So, uh, the prices are getting worse than before. Okay, and this is the superlative, the? The worst. The worst, okay. The worst. Far, entonces con far digo further. Esto sí, como les digo, cambian, por eso es que son further than. Y aquí digo the? The farthest. The farthest. The farthest. Uh -huh. The farthest. ST. Ahí está. Ahora, tenemos otros que son de dos sílabas, pero terminan con Y. ¿Ok? En este caso. Happy. Por ejemplo, happy. Curly. Como mi pelo y el de maybe. Curly. Pretty. What else? Easy. Easy. Good. Etc. You know. Pero tienen two syllables. They have two syllables, right? So, um, in that case, if you say happy, pretty, en este caso, tampoco digo more. Okay? Aquí no digo more. Si es, si es un comparativo, no digo more, sino que solo digo happier. ¿Qué pasa? Yes. Happier si es comparative, all right? Lo único que hago entonces es quitar la Y, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Modificarla por la Latin I, and then you say higher, all right? Happier, prettier, easier, curlier. For example, maybe his hair is curlier than Tania's hair. El, el pelo de maybe es más colocho que el de Tania, all right? Um, example, um, Tania's hair is longer than Sullivan. Según la foto que hemos visto, igual como, el, como me recuerdo de, de Sullivan, ¿ok? He's longer. Pero aquí, si es, por ejemplo, de dos sílabas y termina con ya, ahí se decimos prettier, ella es más bonita. Um, por ejemplo, Shakira es más bonita que... ¿Cómo se llamaba la, la novia de...? This guy, ¿cómo se llama? Clara. Que a, a Clara, ¿verdad? Clara, ¿sí o no? Bueno, todo depende, claro, ¿verdad? Claro. Right? Yo creo que nadie sí, lo puede claro. negar, right? All right. 
So, clare, clara. Okay, so. Es claro. Somebody say, what's a man? <laughs> clara, creo que. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 it's just to give you an example. So she's prettier than, right? She's prettier than. Eh, mm, ah, tenemos este como. Mm, more. Digo, less. Less. Y aquí, less than. Esa es otra. Less than. Y el otro es the least, the least the el least. menos, ajá. Me estoy confundiendo, eso es more, few, perdón, ese es de few, de poco. The more es, vamos a ver, ¿quién me, quién me ayuda ahí? Ajá. Sí. Few, uh -huh. Es less than o the least. El del el otro era. Um... Ay, no me acuerdo. Pero obviamente aquí decimos more and the most. Creo que era many, creo, de many. Many more. It, many more y the most. Now, si entonces es siempre si prettier than, siempre ponemos el than. Y luego, si es el superlativo, sería entonces the easier. Ajá. No. Siempre cambiamos la I latina, ¿verdad? Y. Easiest. 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 All right. The easiest, lo más fácil del mundo, right? English is the easiest language in the world, in my opinion. All right. Um, um, de todas las más bonitas del mundo. Who is the prettiest girl in the world? I don't know. No sé. Para, para los hombres puede ser una, para otros puede ser otra. Right? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is the prettiest girl in the world. Or in the United States. Dua Lipa. Ok, ahí está. Para los demás, y con eso termino. For the rest, ahí sí son de dos o más sílabas. Por ejemplo, handsome. Tell me the two or more. Después de dos para arriba que no terminen con ye. ¿verdad? Handsome, beautiful. Beautiful. Intelligent. Intelligent. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Expensive. Expensive. Okay. Any other uh, so, um, adjectives that are uh, more, that have more than two syllables and they don't finish with Y? Right? We, then in those cases, only in those cases, so you say more than. Y dice, more, le pone el, suje, el adjetivo, more handsome, more beautiful, more no sé qué, than. So, um, Shakira is more beautiful than Clara. Um, uh, Piqué is more handsome than Messi. My opinion. All right? More than. Sí, pongo more, después el, su, el adjetivo y después then. Pero si yo quiero decir el superlativo, entonces digo the. The most. The most, ¿ok? Y the most handsome, the most intelligent, the most beautiful. ¿Vean? Yeah? The most beautiful, the most beautiful girl. Y siempre el adjetivo no dice the most girl beautiful. No, the most beautiful girl. Siempre el adjetivo va antes del nombre, ¿verdad? The most beautiful. The most handsome. The most expensive uh, of the country. In Central America, what is the most expensive? The most expensive country in, Amer in Central America is? El Salvador. <laughs> Maybe. No, I think Costa Rica. I have never traveled I to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, yes, yes. But Costa Rica, yes. but in, uh, except, yeah. except Costa Rica, I guess the second most, ah, se acuerdan que era el most dangerous también, ¿verdad? El Salvador. Now it's the most expensive probably of all the four, the C4. Que está, tenemos esa, que se llama C4, creo yo, que son los cuatro países que, te, que podemos entrar without any passport. Right, but we can use the uh, the um, the um, the Dewey to 
uh, to, to, to border, to cross the border. Yes, Brandy, I know it's almost time. Anything else that you want to say or that's the, that's what you wanted to nice tell to me? Nice to meet you. See you again, teacher. I it's see you soon. You I, sent you, I sent you a close, a, a hug. God bless you guys. Thank you for your participation here. Thank you for Thank your you, effort. Teacher. And it was a pleasure, okay? Anything you want, for all, teacher. if I have the time, I can text you, okay? Whenever I have time. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you soon. Hey. See you around. Nos vemos por ahí en algún lado. En algún momento. Bye-bye. Que disfrute sus vacaciones donde quiera que esté. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Care. See you. Nos vemos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.